Disclaimer, this video and all its contents are Ngozi's opinion and that of some people who contributed. We're all entitled to our opinions, so enjoy. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome again. My name is Ngozi and this is Nigerian fashion fads. These are fashion fads that have come to Nigeria and are either here to stay or not. I call them fads because I don't think they should stay. They've done their time and we should let them be released from prison and move forward. Okay, so I know fashion is subjective and what works for the goose may not work for the gander. That's perfectly okay. I like one thing, you like something else. I think fashion is one of the most subject, subjective things ever. However, there are certain trends that have come. And because we are who we are, we must kill it. Bury it in a distant place. Return to it, raise it from the dead, kill it again, throw it into the ocean, otherwise we will not be satisfied. These are the fads I'm talking about. The ones that we have squeezed all the life out of and we still want to get more life from it. The first one, and if anybody knows me, they already know what I'm going to talk about. Velvet and the double knotting of velvet in front. <laughs> now, what makes me truly interested in this thing is that velvet used to be abused before. They used to call velvet akwoche. Well, people still call it akwoche if they don't know how to pronounce it, but they used to call it akwoche, which means the cloth that they use for chair, essentially. So in that time, people used to have, you know, velvet on their cloth, on their chairs at home. I don't know why, but okay, that's what they used to have. So then they call velvet, and a lot of people still use it, actually, I said in that time. No, it's actually still very popular to use velvet on your chair, so they call it akwoche. Someone then decides that it's okay to now start wearing velvet again, so... Eight out of ten weddings of 2013, the Ashrebi was velvet. My problem now, velvet is done by the way, lace is nicer, let's just move on with velvet, it's enough, thank you very much. My issue is this, you now take velvet, instead of tying it normally, you now, because I'm, you know, it's in, like, oh my god, this is fashion, like, it's so trendy. You now double knot it in front and tie it, and then you look like you have four belly buttons <laughs> it's it there's no way for you to tie it with velvet that it looks nice unfortunately now this particular trend of double knotting i think in my head circa 2010 i don't know when tiffany amber bless her she's so talented introduced that satin or silk i, I don't know the name of the fabric dress that you double knot and tie in front and go backwards gorgeous dress timeless piece that she had i think maybe that's where it came from but the key issue is that the fabric was, or the key thing to learn is that the fabric she used was soft fabric. I already don't like that trend when you're tying a wrapper, but when you use chiffon or you use satin, it's better because it sleeps better. For you to now take velvet in all of its thickness and in all of its just general fabricness of it, pardon my French, because I know there's no such thing as fabricness, you now double knot it in front and go back and then when you now want to take a picture, you now lean in in your stomach because you think, oh my God, you know, this trend is so cool. It, I'm sorry. There's, and I, I'm in, I know you're, you're seeing a picture now and I love these girls, but I just had to share this picture. It's done. I forgive them and I love them because this was 2013. It's now 2014. Double knotting your velvet in front does not flatter. Some people now... Because maybe the front is weird, they're not gonna etch it off to the side. Still doesn't look nice. Not with velvet. Leave it alone. The poor double knot doesn't want to be knotted anymore. It's tired of being knotted. Leave it alone. It's enough. Thank you very much. Move on. There must be some other way to tie the wrapper. If someone can come up with it, it will feel better about it. But blood of my lord, please help us. Eh? Just we're done with the double knotting of the velvet in front. The second fashion fad I'm going to talk about, and. It's going to be controversial, and I don't know if it's, it's fashion, but it's a fad that's going on. When this changing out of your wedding dress into another dress on the day of the white wedding, I don't know when it started. I, I don't know if it was Kim Kardashian. I don't even know if Kim Kardashian changed or how. I keep blaming her for all these things because I, I also blame her for that neck, the, the, the head chain that they put, which now makes people wear pendant on their head. It is a complete... It, what, look at her pictures. She wasn't wearing chain. It was, go to idoweddings.com. My, my, she has a blog. 
and she tells you how to wear it. Do not wear a pendant on your head, but I digress. That's a topic for another day. I don't know who started this changing of dress because it's women that it affects. You don't see a guy on his white wedding day change from his suit that he paid God knows how much for and change into another suit. Guys don't do it, but women, we are a problem. So the question I have is this, because I know it doesn't mean people should stop doing it. You just need to understand what your priorities are. So what's the reason for this trend? Because white wedding is even a white man's thing. The white man brought the white wedding to us. As Nigerians, you've done your traditional wedding, you're done. But, you know, religion came. They then said you have to get married in a church and so on and so forth. Or in a nikai, whatever the ceremony is, a white wedding ceremony. You then do it and they don't even change. Well, most of them don't. We, we must now change. So the question I ask is why? Is it to show us that you have more baths? Or your wedding dress is uncomfortable so you want to change? Or you want to look like one of the guests at your wedding? Or you just, why, what is the reason for the change? Whatever your personal reason is, let it be your personal reason. The challenge I have is this. It's already enough pressure planning a wedding and spending as much money as you have on your wedding to now have the pressure that ah, everybody is changing, so me too, I must change. It's not fair. What about the young girls who are coming up and looking up to people? Everybody is changing. Oh, I'm not going to change into a sequin. It's always sequin. A sequin long dress, frontless, backless, handless, upless, and change my hair. It's your wedding day, so you can do whatever you want. That's my opinion. So go ahead. Do you, boo-boo. The question is, are you spreading yourself too thin? Because everybody's changing, so you too, you must change. It's not that serious. Stay in your wedding dress. It's your wedding day. You should be in a wedding dress, quite frankly. If you can't get married in the first one, why are you changing into it? Because it's a reception. I'm just saying. There's this thing I call the scattered look. We've seen like Blake Lively from Gossip Girl, Kirsten Stewart, and they pull it off. You know that whole, I didn't even try, my hair is scattered. You know, I don't have to wear a bra. You know, I just wear shorts and slippers. I just, oh my gosh, I didn't try. I'm going to need you to try. Because you walk around looking homeless. The difference is that their own is their hair, yours is a weave, so you shake it and it doesn't fall back down, it stays where it is. Then you wear slippers, oh my gosh, I'm sc scruffy chic is not for everybody. I will need you to try, you know what, when you do it, we'll pretend like we didn't notice that you tried, please eh, but in the name of Jesus, you're a lady, try, make an attempt and just look presentable. That whole scattered thing, it's no longer working. Another fashion fad, people are going to eat me for this because I actually wear it ruby woo red lipstick from mac the problem might actually be all red lipsticks but ruby woo ah ah ruby woo has suffered Rub ah yeah 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 ruby woo and granted because it was it was the first of its kind hot red matte most people were using to used to seeing glossy lipstick but this one was matte so it was something new or something different ruby woo is hot lipstick but it's not for everybody. Just like every shade of lipstick cannot be for everybody. But no, it's Ruby Woo. Ah, Ruby Woo, Ruby Wall, Ruby Wall, Ruby Wallicious. You, you cannot all wear Ruby Woo. It is not for everybody and that's okay. So guys, let us let Ruby Woo be for people who Ruby Woo fits. And again, I know you'll say, who am I to tell you that Ruby Woo doesn't fit you? Mm. If you want to wear Ruby Woo, wear Ruby Woo. But Ruby Woo's time has come and gone. The problem is that people are all buying Ruby Woo because, oh, it's Ruby Woo. Are you, is it Ruby Woo? Ah, are you serious? I mean, so I have Ruby Woo. Eh. No problem. It is just le red lipstick. Calm down. Let us let Ruby Woo die the natural end that it should die. Fantastic. Oh, of course, when you now wear Ruby Woo, you must pout. Nobody wears Ruby Woo and does this. It must be. Why? Because you're wearing Ruby Woo. Uh -huh. And again, Kim Kardashian. I just blame Kim Kardashian for so many things. I don't know why. And the final fad, it's not a fashion, it could be considered a fashion fad, is posing for pictures. Any pose you want to pose is appropriate because it's your pose. My problem is somebody now sets a posing trend and everybody must pose that way. Every woman now wants to pose. By default, before they even say pose, your hand has gone on your waist, your head has moved to the side. What is that? Who started it? Because now if you pose like this, or, or, Suddenly what? You're not cute enough? You have to check your body. What's the size of your midriff? I have hanging hands. So I can't, I won't do this because everybody else is doing it. So this hand on waist, if you have that full thing, don't do it. If your derriere is kind of big and you want to tuck it out, it over emphasizes it. But everybody does this and, oh, I, of course, the lip. 
That's the classic Nigeria woman pose. Pose, be natural about it. There are times when it's required to be fierce, like, you know, and all these tarabang type poses. Absolutely, don't get me wrong, nothing wrong with any pose. My problem is, don't pose because it's the trend. It might not look good on you. That trend of crossing your legs when you're standing to pose, hot trend. Apparently, it elongates your legs. If you're six feet tall, don't cross your legs. You will look seven feet tall. That's the point I'm trying to make. Fads that need to go, plenty of them. We've talked about velvet. Please don't double knot your velvet in front. Let's move on from that. Ruby Woo. Yeah. And if you must change out of your wedding dress, that's fine. But if you, you really can't afford it and you don't have to, don't. Let them do their thing. My name is Ngozi. It's my opinion. If you have yours, please share it with me. Keep it real. Until next time, take care.